It's no surprise that bananas generate a lot of controversy in the type 2 diabetes world. If you're watching this video, you probably want to know if it's okay to eat bananas if you have type 2 diabetes. So in this video, I'm going to answer that exact question. I'm Diana, a registered dietitian and a certified diabetes care and education specialist. Jose and I are on a mission to help you gain control of your blood sugar levels and help you reverse the root cause of type 2 diabetes. So if that sounds good to you, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. So one of the reasons bananas are villainized is because of their high carb content and their high natural sugar content. However, the reality is they actually contain very similar amounts to other fruit. For example, one medium banana has about the same amount of carb and sugar content as one medium apple, one cup of blueberries, and one medium grapefruit. People are often shocked by those statistics. So next time someone tells you a banana is a high carb fruit, Surprise them with your new nutrition knowledge. Let's also talk about the glycemic index of a banana. So the glycemic index is the extent to which a food raises your blood sugar levels. A glycemic index score or a GI score of 55 is considered low, meaning foods that have a GI score of 55 or less won't raise blood sugar levels significantly. On the other hand, a GI of 70 or above is considered a high glycemic index score, meaning these foods will digest much quicker and have more of an impact on your blood sugar levels. So you may see more of a spike in your blood sugar levels after consuming these higher GI scored foods. So according to the International Glycemic Index Database, ripe bananas have a low score of 51, meaning they won't have too much of an impact on blood sugar levels. Slightly underripe bananas, so more green bananas, have an even lower score of 42. Why is that? Well, it's because they have more resistant starch. Resistant starch is an indigestible type of carbohydrate. As its name implies, this type of starch resists digestion and absorption in the small intestine. So similar to fiber, resistant starch kind of acts like a barrier, slowing down the absorption of glucose into our bloodstream. Studies show that approximately 15 to 30 grams of resistant starch a day can improve insulin sensitivity by 33 to 50%. A slightly green banana contains about five grams of resistant starch. Other foods rich in resistant starch include things like beans, lentils, and peas, and whole grains like oats and barley. If you wanna learn more about resistant starch and how you can actually increase the resistant starch in certain foods through different cooking methods, then definitely check out our video on the topic. So now that we know that bananas aren't a super high carb or high sugary fruit, and they're actually lower on the glycemic index, let's look into the evidence and see what the research says about eating bananas. People often think that eating too many bananas can cause weight gain or increase blood sugar levels over time. But there's actually no evidence that bananas contribute to weight gain, which is very contrary to popular belief. In an analysis of three very large cohorts, the researchers looked for associations of specific fruits and vegetables and weight changes in over 100,000 people in the United States. These people included both men and women, and they were followed for up to 24 years. The results were adjusted to account for any other factors that could contribute to weight changes like smoking and physical activity. And the results show that banana intake specifically was actually associated with less weight gain. What about bananas and blood sugar levels? In a randomized control trial, participants with type 2 diabetes were fed either 250 grams or 500 grams of bananas, which is about two to four medium-sized bananas for 14 weeks. At the end of the study, the results showed that daily intake of bananas significantly lowered fasting blood sugar levels of the participants. So remember, while bananas may contain 27 grams of carbohydrates, over a third of those carbs come from fiber and resistant starch two forms of carbohydrates that our body can't even digest or absorb. People with type 2 diabetes face a greater risk of developing hypertension or high blood pressure. And one effective method of controlling blood pressure is through a potassium-rich diet. Potassium is a vital mineral and electrolyte that's essential for heart health and controlling blood pressure. And how can you get a healthy dose of potassium? You guessed it, bananas. One medium banana has about 422 milligrams of potassium, which is about 20% of the daily recommended value. Bananas also have zero saturated fat and zero cholesterol. And in addition to having a lot of potassium, they also have a lot of other great nutrients. Bananas contain healthy amounts of B6, manganese, magnesium, and vitamin C. So if you do suffer from high blood pressure, definitely consider adding more potassium rich foods to your diet like bananas. So if you do have type 2 diabetes and you love bananas, you should know that you do not have to give up this fruit. 
If you do experience high blood sugar spikes after eating a banana, well, here are some tips on how to manage those. Choose slightly underripe or more green bananas. They're going to be higher in resistant starch, and there's going to be less overall carbohydrates that you'll be able to digest and absorb. Pair bananas with a healthy fat and or a protein. For example, you can pair banana with some peanut butter. The protein and the fat will help to slow down the absorption of fructose from the banana into your bloodstream. Number three, watch your portion size. So instead of having a huge banana, try to have a smaller one or even just have half of a banana. This will help to reduce the amount of carbs and natural sugars you eat in one sitting. And number four, spread your fruit intake throughout the day. Spreading your fruit intake throughout the day will help spread out the glycemic load and the carbohydrates throughout the day and will help stabilize your blood sugars better. All right, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you would like more information on type two diabetes, you can also follow us across our other social media channels, including Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.